May the enemies of Amon be destroyed. May the enemies of Amon be destroyed. May the enemies of Amon be destroyed. Despite our wishes, that troublesome boy grows bigger and more popular every day. We shall see. Training with a wooden sword is so difficult for you. How will you train with the heavy steel sword? The inexperienced person becomes experienced with hard work. You must soon take the steel sword. The wooden sword is only the beginning. Carry on. I told you once, and I'll tell you again. I'm afraid of this Canaanite slave. You, sir, thief. All right, you, sir, thief. He will jeopardize your future. My lady, I witnessed how he ridiculed Amon and the worshipping at the temple. That's enough, Carrie Mama. What danger? I don't know what wrong. He has done to you.
Come with me. I know where to take these. are safe. Come, and you'll see. It's not far. Get up. We brought you food. Take it. It's for you. Take some. Bravo. Bravo. Much better.
will admit it, you are stronger. Yuzarsith will always consider Rodaman his master. Thank you, Benjamin. How could I tolerate Joseph's separation if I didn't have you? I thank God for granting me the blessing to nurse the prophet of God. Give it to me, mother. Do you remember, Leah? Joseph used to call you mother, just like Benjamin. Eleven years have passed, father. And yet the memory of Joseph has not faded even a little in your mind. Should you not forget him? Do you remember the dream he had? Yes, I remember. He saw you, my mother, and my brothers prostrating before him. It means Joseph is superior to me and my family. It means Joseph will be my leader. I may be able to forget my son, but I can't forget the messenger of God. Can one prophet be superior to another prophet? Yes. If a prophet realizes the aims and wishes of other prophets, he will be superior to all of them. You succeed, my son. I have no children. Consider me your father, and come to me if you have any problem. Not all gods are worthy of worshipping. Not all gods are worthy of worshipping. God must be wantless. God must be wantless. God mustn't want a place. God mustn't want a place. God mustn't need food or rest. God mustn't, mustn't need, need food or rest. rest. The whole existence is needy. The whole existence is needy. The whole existence is weak and powerless. The whole existence is weak and powerless. God is the only absolute mighty. God is the only absolute mighty. What are you two looking at? Haven't you got work to be doing? Get on with it! The whole existence is needy. The whole existence is needy. Use our safe. Stay here. I'll be back soon. Excellency Potiphar wanted to see me. The palace chamberlain, Excellency Honifer, has been ill for a long time. Many of the palace affairs have been disrupted. You'd better manage them until Excellency Honifer gets well again. What are you doing here? Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry.
I know about Hanifer. I visited him. You shouldn't worry. Until his recovery, I will do all my best to help manage the palace. I'm not worried. I know that you can manage everything very well. Thank you. Thank you for your trust. <laughs> as of today, Yuzarsif is replacing Hanifar as the palace chamberlain. You don't believe it? I heard it with my own ears. I heard it from Potiphar. Be sure. Mimi Sabu had heard it. Be sure Yusar Sif has replaced Hanifar. Who could be better than Yusar Sif? Hey, Yusar Sif will be the chamberlain from now Yusar on. Sif, really? what? What about what? His Excellency? Oh. Is His Excellency okay? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah. He, he, he I haven't help. heard. He'll be great. Chef. Oh, okay. Yes, Excellency, you are safe. As Excellency Hanifer is unwell, please prepare something suitable for him. I'll bring something right away. What are you all doing here? Do you not have work? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sinue. As I said before, have his luggage ready for the journey. There's nothing I can do. There is no hope then? Do something, physician. He is weak. He cannot survive this disease. His problem is his chest is filled with blood clots. I've been unaware of the palace affairs for some time. Nobody can manage these affairs better than you. Don't worry. Just try to get well by resting and soon you'll be up. I'm not worried about palace affairs. I'm worried about my wasted life. I have reached the end of the road, and yet I have still not reached a choice. I think that I know what you are talking about. It's never too late. You can still choose. Tell me, tell me what I must do before it is too late. Have you thought it over? I've been thinking about your God for these past 11 years. Since the first day I saw you in this palace, I've been thinking about it. Please. <coughs> please, please just tell me what I must do now. I want to be alone with Hanifer.
When you've been thinking about the one God for 11 years, then you are a monotheist. Congratulations. I have been talking to him privately for a very long time. Did you know that you must also believe in the messengers of God? If I knew any of them, I would believe in them as well. Prophet Adam is the father of all humans and the first messenger of God. And at this time, the latest messenger of God is Joseph. You shall see. Wait a minute now. Joseph is your real name, isn't it? Then you are a prophet. You are a thief. If I had known this, you are a thief. I would have believed in you many, many years ago. <laughs> Honifer, do you renounce the gods of infidelity and the lifeless sculptures? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome to monotheism. Many years ago, I witnessed the worshipping of Amman followers with Excellency Potiphar. I saw how they worshipped the sculptures they had built and how they took their needs to it. <laughs> Since then, I've made a vow to God to fight polytheism and idolatry. I am happy that you are an outcome of that. <laughs> you shall see. I am happy also. You shall see. I... If I were to leave the world now, would I not be in the fires of hell? Rest assured, it is God's promise. If a person leaves polytheism, even in the last moment of his life, and believes in the one God, then he has achieved salvation. <laughs> Greetings to the Chamberlain of Potiphar's Palace, Excellency Yuzasi. Who told you I'm the Chamberlain? Everybody knows, Excellency. Oh, greetings, greetings, sir. Greetings. You shouldn't worry. Congratulations. You have heard wrongly. The Palace Chamberlain is Excellency Honifer. I will manage palace affairs until he gets well. What is Lady Zaleika staring at? Staring? No. I wasn't staring at anything. Yuzar Sif, the new palace chamberlain, is nothing? You sometimes overstep your limits, Carrie Mama. I would be careful. Your snide remarks will not always go unanswered. Yesterday, they confiscated some plots of land on the Nile in the name of Amman. And today, by force, they took some young girls from the poor neighborhoods to Amman's temple. They were taken as Amman's wives. That is not new. Young girls have always chosen to be Amman's wives voluntarily, not forcefully. They took them for the debauchery of the priests, not Amman's marriage. How could that lifeless piece of stone need to have wives? You mustn't speak ill of the priests and the great Amman in front of young Amenhotep. These words will damage his faith. Faith? 
The faith of our child is damaged by the wicked doings of the temple priests, not by hearing the truth. He must know everything. He must know what the people of his country worship and what country he is going to rule in the future. I know what I must know about Amon and the temple priests. These words are not new to me. She has always supported the priests and the temple and justified their shameful doings. She is more concerned with Amon and the revolting priests than with my rule or government. What does the great Pharaoh command with regard to the recent actions of the temple priests? I shall terminate the anarchy soon and destroy the priests in Thebes. Be prepared to raid the temples as soon as possible. Do you think the Egyptian army can overcome the temple soldiers? They have exasperated the people. The temple has lost the popularity it once had. Their power is not so worrying as it once was. Not all gods are worthy of worshipping. God must be wantless. God mustn't want a place. God mustn't want food or sleep. What is it that you want? Why are you shadowing me day and night? Nothing, my lady, nothing. It is my duty to be available to serve you at all times. If my presence annoys you, then I will stay away from now on. that she is always watching you, Zarsif. I don't know. I've witnessed that scene many times. I only hope there isn't any ill intention in those looks. Your hope resembles stupidity more than good intention. Greetings, Excellency Potiphar. Greetings, my lord, Excellency Potiphar. Greetings to the loyal Rodamot and the wise Yuzasif. I wish to practice. Will you fight me? I won't fight. But if you wish to test me, I will do as you wish.
Amenhotep intends to fight the temple's priests. He wants to destroy them once and for all. They have become impudent and disrupt the affairs in Egypt. That is dangerous. The temple priests are very powerful. He has made his decision and therefore ordered me to mobilize the army. They will fight back. Amenhotep must be careful about the infiltration of the temple agents in his palace. Amenhotep's life is in danger. Protect him and do not leave him alone even for a moment. In danger? Who from? It could be anyone. Any of the residents in Amenhotep's palace. Enemies of Pharaoh Amenhotep are everywhere. I met his wife once. She is very loyal to Amon. How strange. Amenhotep said the same thing to Lady T when he was quarreling with her. He is good as called her a traitor. Protect Pharaoh Amenhotep. There is danger. told me to deliver it to you only. happened, Your Eminence. Your Eminence, High Priest Ankmahu, beware that the recalcitrance of the temple priests and soldiers has disrupted the affairs of Egypt. Amenhotep, the great pharaoh, has forced us to take action against Amun Temple. Cease your recalcitrance and revolutionary behavior. Apologize to Amenhotep before he takes action and end the dispute before it begins. Either Lady Chi has cleverly warned us of the danger, or she has naively spied on her husband and informed us of his plan. Whatever it is, we are in danger. 
Well? What is your eminence's decision? We must either prevent the incident from happening by apologizing to Amenhotep. Or prevent the enemy from attacking us by striking the first blow. I prefer the latter. Apologizing will humiliate the temple and leave the danger of attack open forever. We must attack before the enemy. How do you know that if we attack, we will win? What if we are defeated? I would prefer apology and peace. I agree with the attack. But not in the way Pediamon said. Our enemy is one person, a Amenhotep. So we will attack him with one person. But to do that we need someone who is close to a Amenhotep. And I think that I already know someone close to a Amenhotep. Man is superior to other creatures and other creatures are inferior to man. Whatever we can see from other creatures, and whatever we can understand and feel is inferior to us. So to all other creatures, we are higher. We can see Amon, but we are not higher than him. Amon is a sculpture made by a sculptor. So it is obvious that Amon is not superior to the sculptor. Whatever one makes is not superior to him. Can we see your god? God is above what can be seen, so he cannot be seen. In addition to being knowledgeable, he is also a good teacher. Who would believe that is the same spoiled child? Yesterday, a slave. Today, he's in charge of the palace. Are you upset with Yuzasif's progress? And growth? Not at all. I think he deserves it. He is sagacious and wise. I have consulted him in affairs. Never once have I regretted it. But I worry about him. We must be careful not to have him seen in public. The lascivious Egyptian women would no doubt seduce him and ruin our efforts. That's natural. Such a handsome young man, of course, would attract any woman. If he was permitted to go into the city, he wouldn't be here now. Excellency Yuzarsif, Hanifer is worse. Inform Excellency Radaman. Stay here, children. I'll be back shortly. Son, you Yusasif, I was worried I might die before seeing you. I'm happy you're here. Excellency, surely you don't want to leave us. Don't worry. Soon you'll be fine. Silence, please. Let me speak while I still have time. Yusasif, my son. You know everything about this palace and can manage it better than anybody else can. <coughs> you have brought blessing to all the palace residents. I have no doubt that the palace residents will have calm and peace because of your presence. 
you shall see. They all love you. We hope that you will get well, and we will benefit from your presence. What's wrong with Honifer? How is the Chamberlain of our palace? Excellency Pontifal, I'm happy that you visited me. In my last moments. I hope you get well soon. The palace residents love Yusasif. They will undoubtedly obey his orders. I, I hope that. Despite his young age, I will appoint him in your place. I am not worried in the least for the palace affairs. Don't worry about it. I, in front of you, and all the palace residents, and the young Yusasi, announce that I believe in a god other than the gods of Egypt. And I pray to him to grant me peace in my eternal life. I ask the one who guided me to pray for me. his mercy. Once again, I have lost a caring father. Hanifer was a great man. I hope that he will have eternal peace. Hanifer must have a magnificent funeral and burial. Bring his special coffin. Take him to the west, mummify him, and bury him in our special vault. <laughs> 